Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. Under the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for Housing and Urban Planning Ministry to hold activities and exhibitions that contribute to introducing housing financing services and programs, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa inaugurated the second edition of the Housing Finance Exhibition. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the organization of the exhibition coincides with the efforts aimed at implementing the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to continue enhancing living standards for citizens. He noted that the government continues to develop its policies to ensure the sustainability of housing services through providing innovative solutions that fulfill the needs of citizens, which includes the housing finance program that was launched in August of last year and the government land development rights program, who's completed its first project today, Suhail, located in El Lousy. The Deputy Prime Minister praised the efforts of all parties involved in the housing finance system, which resulted in such positive outcomes, including real estate development com companies' contribution to offering housing projects and plans at suitable prices for all beneficiaries of the new financing programs. He also thanked the local banks participating in providing finances and fi facilitating uh, procedures. Sheikh Khalid commended the efforts of the Housing Ministry and of Iskan Bank in organizing the Housing Finance Exhibition this year, which offers a real estate portfolio that includes over 10,000 properties in addition to the units of Suhail Housing Project. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Arumehi, hailed the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for the Housing and Urban planning ministry to inaugurate activities and exhibitions that contribute to introducing housing financing services and programs. Arumehi thanked the Deputy Prime Minister for his patronage of the exhibition, which reflects his continuous support to housing projects and programs. She said that the exhibition is one of the ministry's main initiatives to introduce citizens to financing services and various financing options it offers. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning to expand the implementation of the Government Land Development Program, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa inaugurated the Suhail Housing Project in El Lawzi area, which is considered the first project of the Government Land Development Program in partnership with the private sector and includes 132 housing units. The Deputy Premier affirmed that the partnership with the private sector in providing housing units through the program gives creative solutions and excellent housing services to citizens at reasonable prices. Noting that the scheme is in line with the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and the Sustainable Development Goals under the leadership of His Majesty the King with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted that the partnership with the private sector, especially in the housing field, is at the forefront of the government's priorities for its 2023 to 2026 program to consolidate the sustainability of housing services and ensure they are handed to citizens on time, stressing the continuity to develop solutions that meet the demand of the aspirations of citizens for adequate housing. He stressed thanks and appreciation to the housing minister, the ministry staff and the project developers for their efforts to prepare for the inauguration of the project, noting that the Suhail project is a model to follow for future projects. For her part, the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Aromehi, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for launching the project, noting that it represents a real and successful experience for the government land development program. She affirmed that the ministry doubled its efforts to implement His Royal Highness's directives regarding the program, highlighting plans to implement eight extra projects in partnership with the private sector during 2023 to 2024 to provide thousands of housing units from real estate and development companies on government-owned lands. She thanked the Deputy Premier for opening the project, which marks the beginning of offering housing units to citizens, which in two a reserve and benefit from financing services.
Under the patronage of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority GSA and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee BOC, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the GSA vice chairman, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the president of World Aquatics, Dr. Hussein Elm Salam, the swimming training and teaching program for 10,000 children and youth concluded, which was launched by the BOC and the Bahrain Swimming Association as part of the a Making Champions initiative. A presentation was given by consultant Dr. Mohammed Mijbil on the stages of the initiative since the signing of the agreements between the association and BOC in July 2022. The president of the association also reviewed the statistics which showed that the goal had been reached in June 2023 by training about 10,000 swimmers. His Highness Sheikh Salman appraised the program which comes upon the directives of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, noting the prominent role played by BOC and the Swimming Association in training this large number of swimmers, where the best talents will be selected to support national teams. He added that swimming is one of the basic Olympic sports and noted that training this large number of contributes to reducing drowning accidents. He wished BOC and the Swimming Association success. The Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wael Limbarak, affirmed that the ministry is continuing to implement initiatives aimed at developing the agricultural sector in Bahrain. In implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King to ensure and invest in food security, which receives continuous follow-up from the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The minister noted the launch of a package of lands for agricultural investment in Buri area, ranging between 7,000 and 12,000 thousand square meters. El Mbarak highlighted the continuous follow-up on food security initiatives by the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects headed by the Deputy Prime Minister. El Mbarak stated that the Ministry offered three lands for agricultural investment in Buri area through the Government Land Investment Platform and presented qualitative offers to invest these lands for a specific period of time that extends to 10 years. He noted that the government, by enhancing food security, aims to increase local production through initiatives that aim to develop plant, agriculture, efficient farming and livestock. Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies Dirasat, in cooperation with the Supreme Council for Women SCW, organized the sixth annual Dirasat Forum, themed the role of women in policy making, think tanks, and research. The two day forum brought together participants from Bahrain, the GCC, and other parts of the world, including experts, policy makers, representatives of United Nations agencies, and researchers. In her opening remarks, Secretary General of the SCW, Hala Lansari, affirmed Bahrain's efforts in supporting the advancement of Bahraini women and uh, focusing on their qualitative engagement. For his part, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Dirasat, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, said that the kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, has made great strides in empowering women and increasing their participation in the country. He expressed pride in SCW's achievements led by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, in consolidating the role of Bahraini woman as an active partner in the comprehensive development process. Forums like this are critical opportunities for us to discuss the advancement of women empowerment and gender equality in all levels of society. The most important issues that we have discussed here is that we have seen the diversity of opportunities but yet challenges that women face, not only at the bottom of pyramid as they engage with their own communities, but all the way up as they become members of, of parliament, they become ministers or even heads of states. We still have challenges to overcome, we still see inequality in the way, women are represented in policy designing and policy discussions, but we also must acknowledge that we have done tremendous progress and this region is leading by example. There's a number of progresses that have happened in Bahrain, that have happened in the GCC and in the Arab region that are led by women and we must offer opportunities for these women to be visible and for this progress to be visible and for the region to see the good examples that women are are leading here in Bahrain and elsewhere in the region. I think it's always important to uh, bring in and engage a lot of different voices um, and in-person conferences are very uh, 
palpable. You can feel the difference because people are flying in from all over the world and you can uh, get a really unique experience to get hear their perspective and their expertise. So we just concluded the first panel on uh, women, women participation and women leaders in the past and their aspirations for the future. And it was very fruitful and we came to the conclusion that um, the role of women, uh, the discussion of the role of women is not complete without bringing in the role of men and bringing in the role of all segments of society and how we can create a better uh, sustainable network of support for women um, for the good of society across the board. The parliamentary division delegation headed by the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Limsellem, participated in the parliamentary conference on interfaith dialogue in the Moroccan city of Marrakesh. The conference included discussion sessions on the rule of law, freedom of belief, peace and inclusiveness, in addition to general discussions on parliaments and religious leaders. We have many different delegations from all over the world joining us today here in Morocco. Uh, to discuss interfaith and peaceful coexistence, which is a very important matter uh, to discuss these days. Um, the, and I'm happy to say that a lot of the, of the delegations that have been to the IPU in Bahrain um, has set Bahrain as an example of peaceful coexistence. Uh, His Majesty King Hamad is the biggest supporter of peaceful coexistence and therefore uh, we had established uh, the, the King Hamad Center for Peaceful Coexistence uh, 2018 and I hope that uh, uh, bring, uh, coming together here with uh, uh, many different countries um, uh, to uh, discuss and to, uh, to bring peace to the world the permanent representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations in New York, Ambassador Jamal al rawai delivered a speech during the Security Council meeting on climate change, peace and security. Bahrain affirmed that the climate change is a global challenge that requires international cooperation as a threat no less dangerous than the traditional threats to international peace and security. The permanent representative said that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King and upon the directives of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister has prioritized the principle of achieving sustainable development. He added that the negative effects of climate change and its consequences not only harm the environment but also threaten economic and social systems and infrastructure. Ambassador Arwai noted Bahrain's initiatives and efforts in addressing the negative effects of climate change.